I do want to touch on the tropics. Boy, have I been bombarded with questions about the tropics. It's that time of year. You're starting to see things all over social media. The National Hurricane Center is now releasing their daily outlooks and right now still not expecting any development, at least through a big part of this week. Now come this weekend, we could see that change. Keyword there could. The area we're going to be watching is the Western Caribbean, Central America, and then maybe even the Eastern Pacific. And the reason that area we're going to be watching is so broad as well, uh, kind of the pattern we're going to be getting in towards the end of this week. Right now, we're getting a lot of guidance signals. Guidance meaning a lot of different models, whether they be the GFS, the European, the Canadian, the German, there's all these different types of models, are showing that we're likely going to start to see some low pressure develop down here in Central America. The big question right now is where or does that low pressure try to consolidate into something more? A lot of times a broad low pressure develops down here in the early part of the season. We call that the Central American Gyre. And within that broad rotation, you can sometimes get more um, um, uh, low pressures that are more organized and those can sometimes spin up into something more. So right now we're looking at our guidance and they're showing kind of vastly different outcomes here. The GFS is the one you've probably seen on social media that shows a big storm getting into the Gulf, whereas the European really doesn't show much. We're now starting to see them come together a little bit more, but still not quite exactly that. This is this weekend. The GFS in red, notice it shows something trying to spin up closer to the Yucatan. The Euro keeps something maybe in the Eastern Pacific or perhaps over Central America and much weaker. So those are our two different um, kind of scenarios we're looking at right now. I will say when we're this far out, and we're talking five, six, seven days out, this is not uncommon for our models to be doing different things. The reason the GFS shows something a little bit stronger and in the southern Gulf at one point is because it is depicting a weaker high pressure. This is what steers these systems. The European model has a stronger high pressure, which pushes whatever tries to come together down here into Central America or perhaps even into the Eastern Pacific. I will say I'm leaning more towards the Euro here with probably a Central American situation with a weaker system with just some rain, whereas the GFS seems to be correcting in that direction, meaning it's been trending and trending like it's going to go more and more like the European model. We'll see. Remember, they're just models. They're not forecasts. They are tools we use to forecast. And uh, you got to really understand a lot of times why the models are showing what they're showing. So a hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico in the month of May, it's happened one time and it was in the 1800s. That's how extremely rare it is. And just looking at the environment next week, if something did get pulled into the Gulf, it looks like a lot of dry air, a lot of wind shear. So it'd probably be on the weak side. It's just simply way too early to really get into fine details. But the overall pattern and looking at our guidance does show probably some low pressure trying to develop down there by this weekend. We'll wait and see. We got plenty of time to watch it. We certainly don't need to worry about it right now.